Malik, I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. The Pigorino? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual friend. He's expecting you. Mister! Listen, man, can you hurry it up? So where to? <laughs> so we need to go. Here we go. Thank you. I'm here to see Mr. Gavelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're- Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years. <laughs> You mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally come to an end? <laughs> I know it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> but if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping this story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <coughs> Thank you. Hmm. 
Thanks. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall. All right? Sure. to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Well, I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is going to be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson! Let's get out of here! Get us to the Civic Citadel. Hey, hey, chill there, buddy. That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for... You are quite the popular man, Mr. Jefferson. John Gravelli understand the way life works. They get the limits of their power. In Europe, the politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. 
You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Any minute. Yeah, yeah, good. Heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Gravelli? See you later. getting married. We all have to settle down sometime. Well, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Brucey don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. Florian, open the door. Nemo de Cepeda. Govorin Glesky, and I told you it's Bernie. Then Bernie opened the door. What's going on? Come in, come in. The haters are trying to kill me. I can't stand it. I won't stand it. It's not fair. I'm just being me. Bernie, what are you talking about? I came to this country to be myself. To get away from small-minded, angry, macho pricks. Oh, like me. Yes! Well, no. Uh, well, you know what I mean. It was hardly the most progressive place. How does my hair look? Fine. I put a rinse in. Tawdry night. Nice. Bryce found some gray hairs. If he leaves me, I'll kill myself. Forget about your hair, Florian. Bernie. I mean, Bernie. What's the problem? Someone is threatening to kill me. Every time I go out jogging and doing aerobics or playing ultimate disc, some guy comes up and threatens me. He's loco. Why is he threatening you? Because, uh, I think just because I'm fabulous. What? I keep thinking I'm being followed and I don't know why. I'm a prisoner in my own home! Okay, Bernie, let's go out and have a look. Ooh, I'm so glad you've come back into my life. That's cool. But listen, you and I don't know each other. How can you say that? I thought you were different. Because we want this guy to attack you. Come on. Oh. Let's go to Middle Park, Nix. 
Please make a U-turn where safe. Nico, you're still in great shape. You work out? Not really. I give it, you know? Is there a name for that fitness plan? I take a class if I can be guaranteed funds like yours. It's called getting chased by the cops and being the errand boy for the mob. Ah. Let's get our heart rates up, Nico. Remember to hang back. I need to charm him out. Come on, Nico! Hiya! Sorry. That was the right about this neighborhood! Ah! I'm done with you, homo! Uh, uh, oh. Why don't you pick on someone who'll fight back? What's your problem, fag lover? Whatever you say, buddy. Unfortunately, for hitting my friend, I'm going to kick the shit out of you. Jail! We need to get out of here!
highlighting route. <laughs> Please proceed to highlighted route. Damn! The police! going to attack you again. No, he ain't. You're an absolute sweetie, Nico Bellic. I never would have thought it. Vidimos il scoro div Nico Vecchi. Latin testosterone energy drink. Live life to the limit. WKTT. So in the news. Thank you. Weasel News Terror Alerts. Come on, Bryce. Come on. Got to be kidding me! But, but 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 I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. Jesus, H. Nico, I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cooked. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Calculating route. <laughs> All right, hun, the meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for. 
anymore. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them. Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! You want to be my earth, baby? Everybody no, loves smoking cars, and trick or fame. wanted to speak to him, not his red boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Viso News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. <laughs> Fucking Dimitri. Until this is done.
Sit tight, Bernie. Let me finish this. Thank you. All right. The guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. Got so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think it would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career? Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality as evil. He's a hypocrite, and it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit! I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Can we get back on the top? Yeah, why not? We could use the money. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven holes, seven race, hey, Joe Phil. Wow. Hell mix drive. Hey, bro. What's going on? Knock him out. How are you? I'm good. Wanna walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call for my big buddy. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? Oh, I do some work for him. <laughs> no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say. He's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> Sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. I mean, he's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit, it's three days early. Man on the meal, what am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico, I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. Their livers may be failing, their hearts may be stopping. But the rock never dies. You scared this thing for bucks? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to soon wear rat, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization pulled down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. Do 
mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians. The enchiladas have been dealing with. He was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle or since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them the sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the boat about. All right, this is the truck. ...outside the court that the dorks in the LCPD are ruining the city, and it's time we the people stood up to their bullying. Calculating route. Getting ship-faced and grinding on three. Turn right. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. There should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away with the questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked at. You and me know it ain't gonna work, and that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders, and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. We're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in it. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm giving. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. Nice and inconspicuous, I like it. Everything should be fine. Buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off! Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. 
There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. What?
You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. doing that. I can't believe it. Your mother was right. You're pathetic. Yo, this hey, is you chicks boozle. Like, like a tiger chases a gazelle. 